for us, we do, we're not jumping into this bear market rally. We think that there's going to be a little bit more to go. Um, for example, if you look, the Fed is going to continue to hike. Um, there's no question about that, whether it slows the pace that that should find some reprieve in the market. But at the end of the day, they're still undergoing quantitative tightening. So when you have a combination of quantitative tightening, plus um, you have the effects of the hikes, you are going to have an impact on equity markets overall. Uh, that being said, uh, Mary, when you look at the yield curve inversion, it's been flagging recession for quite some time. This is the most anticipated recession in quite some time as well. So uh, we all hear the consensus opinion that it's going to be mild. Arguably, the jury is still out on that one. But should we be positioning in the cyclicals? Should we be positioning for a recovery soon after that mild uh, recession? Or is that premature? Um, in our view, not yet. So we think that equity prices, especially equity markets overall, they haven't really priced into what the macro conditions are telling us. So for us, in our view, valuations for equity markets are still expensive. Equity risk premiums are not reflecting what the overall macroeconomic um, conditions are telling us. So from that perspective, we still need to see earnings coming down. We ne still need to see valuations coming down to reflect those um, a little bit more bearish macro conditions before we see any signs of jumping back in um, into the equity markets or finding really good value um, in the equity markets. Taking you back to your first answer, Mary, when you were talking about the fact that, you know, investors often forget that uh, even when the Fed is done hiking, you know, with all this focus on what's the terminal rate going to be and when is the terminal rate going to be, the fact that we've got so much quantitative tightening and the lag effect of that monetary policy. Is that going to negate any possible relief rally that we get when it looks like the Fed's coming to an end? I think this is one of the key wild cards is quantitative tightening. So what is truly the impact of quantitative tightening? Because we haven't really see that, seen that coming to fruition. So for example, the last few times where we saw quantitative tightening and then we saw a greater volatility in the markets, the previous central bankers had stopped. This time, the conditions are a lot different. We have inflation really high and the central banks do not have any other option but to continue to tighten financial conditions to bring infl inflation down. So our view overall is that we're going to continue to see whether we're whether in terms of hikes or quantitative tightening and we're likely to see it until what we describe as the economy breaks. So where we start seeing cracks in terms of the labor market and start seeing some signs of a recession coming to fruition because of the Fed's focus and clear focus on inflation.